Hi, I'm Dr. Dean Blumberg, and I'm Professor-in-Chief of Pediatric Infectious Diseases at UC Davis Children's Hospital. And I'm happy to answer a few frequently asked questions on this novel coronavirus today. The first question is, what are the common signs and symptoms of coronavirus? So coronaviruses, we know that there's common coronaviruses that cause colds, fever, cough, runny nose, usually lasts a few days, no problem, people get over it. But there are more severe coronaviruses, such as the SARS coronavirus, MERS, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, and then there's this novel coronavirus from Wuhan that just started. And this one is one that can cause more severe symptoms and it can cause um, disease including pneumonia. Um, but it starts just the same as all the other coronaviruses. The second question is, will we see this in Sacramento and when? I wish I knew the answer to that. So we know that this is a novel virus. Nobody's been exposed to it, so we're all susceptible to it. That means if it gets into a population, it'll probably spread and we'll all end up getting it. On the other hand, there's a lot of efforts to control it. And so there's a lot of efforts to screen people, to diagnose them. If there's any suspicion that they have coronavirus, then they'll be isolated and quarantined. And so in that way, the, the spread might be limited. And so we'll just have to see which way it goes. The uh, next question is, um, people continue to hear of person-to-person -person and contact transmission. And, and how is this transmitted person to person? So the usual way it's transmitted, the most common way is by droplet transmission, by people coughing or sneezing droplets. These are pretty heavy droplets. So eventually gravity takes over and they end up ending up on the ground where they're not gonna be infectious anymore. But while they're in the air, they can travel up to six feet. So if you're within somebody, within six feet of somebody who's symptomatic and coughing and sneezing, then you could breathe that in and then you could get infected. It can also be transmitted by touching surfaces. If that coughing or sneezing, if those droplets end up contaminating surfaces like computer keyboards or door handles or other frequently touched surfaces, then if you touch them soon after they're contaminated then, and then you touch your nose or your mouth or your eye, then you can, get, um, you can get infected that way. And so that's why we recommend frequent hand washing when you touch these high touch surfaces, these frequently touched surfaces. The next question is, should I be concerned traveling to other Asian countries? The vast majority of cases have been in China, and 80% of the cases in China have been in Hubei province, where Wuhan is, the epicenter of this outbreak. There's been very limited transmission in countries outside of China, very limited transmission in Japan, in Thailand. Um, so there's no travel restrictions recommended by the State Department at the present time, and I agree with that. If you're traveling to those areas, it's fine to travel there. Um, but it's recommended not to travel to China now if, in, unless you really have to. Yeah, and so the next question is about what about imports coming from China? We have a lot of imports coming from China, and can we catch it from that? Well, you could think like maybe if people coughed or sneezed on the cargo and then people are touching it, picking it up, um, uh, unloading it, maybe it could be transmitted that way, but that's not gonna happen. The, the virus doesn't survive very long on surfaces, so if it's taking a day or two by air to get into this country or on a cargo ship taking much longer to get into this country, those products are gonna be safe. And the same with food items from China. It's not known to be transmitted via the foodborne route. So you'll be perfectly safe with that. It's only transmitted if people, uh, from surfaces if people are coughing or sneezing on the surface and then you touch it really soon after. So otherwise, all those products are safe. Chinese food is safe. All of that is safe. So thank you for watching, and I hope this has been useful and that it's answered some of your frequently asked questions. Thank you.